Good morning everyone and welcome back to Antique Central. It's a bit of a late start this morning because we're off to the Stratford-upon-Avon car boot sale where we'll be selling. Well it's a grey old day and we're in the queue at the race course so uh, hopefully uh, we'll be setting up in the next 15 minutes or so. I'm not honestly sure what it's going to be like today. Sold here a couple of years ago and um, did okay but it all depends who walks through the door and whether I've brought the right stuff. It is a car boot, so it might be a bit more suited to the stock I'm selling at the moment uh, compared to Malvern last week. It's not a high-end stock at all, and um, average purchase price for most of the stock I've brought with me is uh, less than £5, so if I'm selling it you know, around the £10 mark, I'm doubling my money, uh, moving stock on, getting money back into the business account, so you know, I'm quite happy with that really. So my expectations aren't high, and I'll be uh, I'll be happy with a decent turnover of stock today. So, you know, still a bit of luck required, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Well, it started off really slow. I've been offered less than scrap value for the brass. So, um, yeah, it's not too promising today, I don't think. I sold the large biplane. Um, I've got 20 pounds for that. So I've got my money back for the pitch and I've got my money back for the fuel to get over here. So my costs are covered. There's still about four hours to go. So hopefully we'll end up with a bit of profit. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't hold out much hope at the moment, I'm afraid. It's still really slow. But uh, what makes it absolutely even worse is the fact that we're right next to the refreshments stall that are selling the bacon sandwiches. So uh, I'm just constantly hungry at the moment. <laughs> the smell of bacon is killing me. <laughs> Although it's not selling at the moment, this is not bad stock. It's just that the right buyer hasn't walked through the gates yet. Some of it is quirky, I have to admit, but it is collectible and most importantly affordable, providing the right buyer turns up. I avoid selling damaged items as I find buyers aren't interested in tat. And I steer clear of expensive stock at car boots as your average buyer isn't carrying that kind of money and won't spend hundreds of pounds on an item when they have little or no chance of returning it if it's not what they think when they get it home. Rather, I opt for affordable collectibles or unique and functional items that appeal to both private buyers and dealers alike. And always remember, quality speaks louder than quantity. Right, it's 10 o'clock and uh, sales have picked up quite considerably, which is great. We have sold so far, and I'll just run through the list. We've sold the biplane, uh, which we got 20 pounds for, the stag's head, the mannequin, or mannequin, on the stand, and the uh, 1960s print of the uh, wild stallions sold. The uh, heavy sheep door stop, that's the cast iron sheep's door stopper sold. Two vinyls, Cliff Richard, and the sound of music they've sold got three pounds each for those the german ruler extendable two meter ruler sold 10 pounds and a job lot of brass sold for 40 pounds and that included the two marley horses the spelter marley horses so at the moment we're approximately 160 pounds for the the day which pound for pound when you compare it to Malvern, we're actually doing a little bit better because of the, it was only 10 pounds to stand here today where as Malvern was 45. So uh, we're actually in a, a reasonably healthy profit state. So uh, still another three hours to go yet. Although the table is beginning to look a little bit thin, 
bit like a charity stall at the moment. Uh, need to get some more stock in, I think, next week. That for a fiver. Indian donut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely little uh, planters. What I thought we'd do is have a look at some of the items that aren't selling and um, just have a quick chat about them. So first up, I'm not surprised these aren't selling to be honest, these little tang styled horses, carved horses, but I am surprised this cast iron trivet or pot stand hasn't sold. It's a lovely item. I'm not asking a lot for it. I'm only asking £20. Pounds. It's got a bit of age, not a huge amount. I really don't understand why that hasn't sold or hasn't had any inquiries. I think the wooden horses will end up in auction, to be honest, just to move them on. Get a couple of quid back for them. Can't seem to shift any of these vintage carpenters. Uh, block planes that have been converted into table lamps. Um, I think everybody who wanted one has now got one, and I've got five of them, and they just sat there week after week. So, again, these might end up in auction pretty soon. I'm also quite surprised this little terracotta swan hasn't sold. Again, I'm only asking a tenner for it, it's got a real classical look about it. Um, doesn't seem to attract any attention at all. It's too fragile to ship, which is why I've got it on the flea market. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know why that hasn't sold. These two prosthetic shoe lasts are quite quirky as well. I know quirky doesn't necessarily sell, but they are very unusual for a man cave. I think they look quite sort of elephant manish. Probably not very politically correct there, but uh, they are what they are. And uh, I'm surprised they haven't sold. And also, I haven't managed to sell any of the bags of the antique and vintage brass caster wheels this week. Uh, last week at Malvern, sold three packs, ten pound each. So a bit disappointed. None of those have gone today. Now this is the, the main item that I'm amazed hasn't sold, and it's this, I think it's Elm Dolly, it's the end of the Dolly that I'm selling as a plant stand, and I don't understand why that hasn't sold, it's had a bit of attention, attention but uh, no one's made a off, serious offer on it yet anyway. The Faulty Towers limited edition signed print has raised a lot of smiles and laughs but uh, I think that's a bit of an acquired taste and that could well go into auction as well and the other item that I'm really surprised well two items that haven't sold are these Victorian or certainly early 20th century children's blocks and the subjects are animals but also trains. So I think what I might need to have to do is to uh, complete the pictures basically so people can see what they are. And the train one I think would be quite saleable, but at the moment, not shifting at all, no interest whatsoever. So there you go. So that's just a quick flick through some of the items that I'm surprised haven't sold. And I just need to make my mind up what I'm going to do with them. Do I just need to move them on through auction, pretty well give them away, or stick it out for another few weeks to see if I can move them on out of flea market? Because none of these are listed on my 
uh, antiquecentral.co.uk website. So there you go, thought you'd be interested in that. Fortunately, I had a few more sales towards the end of the morning and ended up with around £200 of take-ins for approximately 20 sales. So I hit my £10 per item target. Obviously, I'm not selling household goods or children's clothes or toys, so it's unlikely I'm going to ever turn over much more than £200 at a car boot sale. Unless, of course, that elusive high-end dealer with a bottomless wallet at the end of the rainbow turns up and clears my table. You never know. I think I probably do. So, as I pack away for the day and reflect on my sales, I have to be pleased with the overall outcome, especially as I've sold a couple of large items, including the 1960s Wild Stallions print and the tin biplane. It's great to move them on as they have been rattling around my storage for several months now. Right, it's quarter to 12 and the boot has finished. Oh, early actually, Not normally they go on till about one o'clock, but uh, this one seems to finish quite quickly. But okay, uh, best part of a couple of hundred pounds taken today. Another couple of boxes or tubs emptied. So overall, my plan to get rid of all these small bits and pieces that I've had hanging around for ages is, seems to be anyway, working. It's a lovely location. I love coming over to Stratford on Avon. It's only about 40 minutes from where I live. So mileage isn't too bad. Don't have to get up too early, which is always a bonus at the weekend. And um, I, uh, overall, well, I always seem to say this, I'm happy, but you've got to be happy. If you make a few sales, I talked to somebody earlier, a dealer who was at Malvern last month, and he was selling real quality acting for furniture, literally. <laughs> make a penny didn't sell a single item so uh 200 pounds for what amounts to be you know clearance stock really i've got to be happy with that so there you go i hope you enjoyed this video found it uh entertaining and uh useful you might want to get yourself down here to sell or buy quite a popular one and it runs all year and it's either on the hard standing in the winter or on the field in the summer. So uh, it's, it's a regular event. Get yourself down here and have a look around. It's a lovely, lovely location. Then you can have a couple of hours in Stratford upon Avon by the river Avon as well afterwards if you want to. The home of Shakespeare. Right, that's me signing off. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to support the community and the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. But as ever, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> And I nearly got run over by a van. Things I do for YouTube. Bye for now.